So this video will be Dimensional Analysis Part 2. Just looking at some more ways of using this really useful tool to solve some problems in chemistry. Well, and other areas too, really. So we're going to use an example to illustrate uh, this application of dimensional analysis. Let's say we have a baseball traveling at 91.4 miles per hour. So MPH means miles per hour. We want to find its speed in meters per second. So when you have a problem where your answer has two units in it, meters and seconds, some one unit over another unit, the way that I always solve these as dimensional analysis is like this. I set it up this way. For step one, the units from answer, it'll be whatever unit is on top here. I'm going to find how many meters. And step two, my starting point's always going to be one, exactly one. This is an exact one. And then the units on the bottom. So what I want to find is how many meters that baseball will travel in equal to one second. If I get that answer, that number, that number of meters, that's the same as the meters it travels per second. That's how many meters it travels in one second, which is its speed in meters per second. So this is how I set it up. And the other thing about this is if I'm given a number where it's one unit over another, like miles over hours, we're going to use that as a conversion factor, which I'll show you in just a second. But, okay, so we have step one and step two here. Step three, what units of all seconds? Well, I know that in 60 seconds there's one minute, right? So I write that down, and my units of seconds will cancel. And there we go. Now, now that I've gotten rid of, rid of the units of seconds, Okay, what do I know about seconds? Well, I know, I mean minutes, excuse me. I know that in one hour there's 60 minutes, right? So I can do the same thing. Seconds are canceling. Now minutes cancel, I've got hours. And now here's where the conversion factor and the problem comes in. We are told that the baseball was traveling at 91.4 miles per hour. That means we can say for that particular baseball, 91.4 miles is equal to one hour. That's a conversion factor. That converts for this particular problem between hours and miles. So I do it, all I do is I take the one, which is exact, and I set it to cancel the hours that I have here, and now I left, I'm left with miles. And now I can just continue on doing what we have been doing in the past. So now that I have seconds canceled, minutes canceled, hours cancel. Now to cancel miles, I know from this I get from my table of conversion factors, which you're going to memorize and probably put on your index card. I know that one kilometer is equal to 0.6214 miles. So I put miles in the bottom so that the units cancel, because I, I had units of miles on the top here. And I also know my, from my table of prefixes that one kilometer is equal to one times 10 to the third meters. I just replaced the kilo, the K, with what it means, times 10 to the third. And I put the kilometers on the bottom because here I have kilometers on the top. And that makes it cancel. And now what I'm left with are units of meters, which is what I wanted to find. So at this point, we put these numbers into our calculator. And maybe you guys should do that. Make sure you get the same numbers as I do. And I got 40.85 meters. Then we look at our sig figs. Again, because we're multiplying and dividing, we just look at how many sig figs each of these numbers has. Well, this one is exact, because that's what we've started with. We wanted to know meters per second. That's an exact one. These are both exact. One minute, 60 seconds. Same here. These are exact. This has three sig figs. The one is exact. This, has, this one is exact. This has four sig figs. And these are both exact. So of all these, the least number of sig figs is three. So we're going to round to three. And we get 40.9 meters. What does that mean? That means that what we just calculated is how far that baseball will travel in one second. So 14.9 meters equals one second, or now we can write our answer, the speed of that baseball is 40.9 meters per second.